incredible. Why would Lex Luthor need to rob a bank? I've seen some pretty strange things in my day, but this definitely takes the cake. Well, almost. He got away with $100,000. I know, Lex. It wasn't him. Clark, I know that he's a friend of yours, but come on. You saw him with your own eyes. I don't know what I saw. There must be some kind of reasonable explanation for this, I hope. Me too. I hate to think I have an evil twin. Move it, that's the stuff. Come on, you can do it. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Get on up there. Get on up there. You can do it. That's the stuff. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You guys mad, man. Let's go. Come on. Hey. Are we boring you? I'm sorry. It's... My head hurts. That's because you need to get some blood pumping. Come on, you and Ross are next. Come on down, boys. Come on, put a little muscle into it. Ross beats you, it's ten laps. Come on, Clark, let's go. Move it, move it. Looks like someone's doing laps. Clark, man, what's wrong? Clark, man, what's wrong? Clark! Oh, Kent, are you all right? Kent, what happened up there? So when you have these flashes, you can see through anything? People? Objects? Sometimes I can see through things. Other times it's like an x-ray. And there's no warning. This just happens. Well, I get a headache, and then it hits me. I mean, the first time I thought I was hallucinating, and then it happened again. Clark, I I'm sure there's some way to control this. You guys, I can see through things. How do you control that? You gotta practice, Clark. Your eyes have muscles, just like your legs. Your mom is right, son. Look, all you have to do is you have to figure out a way to uh, condition them so that you don't get these random flashes. Well, that sounds great. How am I going to do that? Didn't you need to go to the antique store? Clark, what do you think Tina's doing? I don't know. I saw the same weird skeleton flash just after the robbery, I think. I just wish I could control this. What if you try focusing it, you know, like a telescope? Yeah. You could start with something small. Try to tell me what I have in my hand right now your pocket knife you could see through my hand no you always carry your knife in that pocket <laughs> earth to clock incorporated into other fluids such as perspiration the desired goal of all courtship behavior in mammals is to the female. sperm travels up Okay, everybody, drop. Do not run. Leave your book. Let's go. Hi, Clark. How was school? It was different. Do we like different? There's a fire during biology class. It's okay. Nobody was hurt. I stopped it before it spread. Well, it sounds like we should be proud of you. Except I think I started it. Wait, you want to explain that, please? I started to feel hot. My eyes started to burn. All of a sudden, the spot I was staring at burst into flames. Just by looking at it? Hello? 
Hi, I'm Clark. I'm the kid who can lift up tractors and see through walls. Son, hang on just a second. What exactly was going on when this happened? We just met our new biology teacher, and we were watching a film. An educational film? A sex educational film. This could get very complicated. Oh, Clark, it's possible that whatever's happened has some sort of hormonal connection. Yes. Great. So maturing into a fire starter? No, son, look, um, we've just got to get a handle on this thing, like we've gotten a handle on all your other abilities. Except all my other abilities didn't involve things bursting into flames. All the more reason for you to give it some time. Just, uh, you'll just have to stay Great. close to home, and, uh, and then we'll figure it out. And I'm worried about him, but it's difficult putting your life on hold. Not sure it was the wisest decision for either of us. I get his emails. He's having a really tough time. First with basic training, now being shipped out. He needs someone he can count on. Besides, I do have you to look out for me, don't I? Well, I know I haven't been around much this summer. Thanks. But ever since the storm, the farm has just been a disaster. Seems like we're all trying to find our way back from that day. Except for Lex. I've never seen him so happy before. It's kind of weird. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. Still, you have to admit it's romantic. All Lex makes it seem easy. Maybe it is. Lex learned to act on his passion, never hold anything back. I wonder if we'll ever be able to do the same. I'm not feeling so well. Oh my god, you're burning up. Let me drive you home. Clark, was that the first time you ever sneezed? Mm-hmm. And the first time I had a scratchy throat with my ears all plugged up. 98.6. No fever. I'm no doctor, but it seems like it's just a common cold. <laughs> You're far from common, Clark. I don't remember you ever even having the sniffles. I've never pushed myself so far into overdrive before. You know, you... <gasps> Uh-oh, does Clarky have the sniffles? It's just a little cold. Well... Lucky for you, I have the perfect remedy. Honey and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Works every time. First, it makes you sneeze a bunch of times, but then I swear you're pretty much cured. In laws, I'll pass. I think we're all out of cayenne laws. No, you're not. I'm just gonna whip up a little bit of something here. Where did your barn door go? It was here late last night when I came to drop off the documents, and now it's gone. And, Chloe, that's not normal. Well, Clark, nothing with you is exactly normal, but I wouldn't call sneezing today's headline. You don't understand. I... I... You what? Grab a tissue and get over it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Gesundheit. I tried to warn you, I've come down with some sort of cold. And become a walking air cannon. Clark, let's get you out of here before we blow again. At least I was able to cover half my face at that time this morning. I... 
I blew the barn door halfway across Lowell County. It almost hit Lois. Lois as in Lane? Now she's on a one-woman crusade to find an explanation. You know her, she won't stop digging until she hits China. Yeah, okay, I'll take care of Lois. Will you just take care of that coal? We've been expecting ceiling fans and cigarette butts. I think this guy can afford central air. All right, I'm a decent hacker, but I'm not a miracle worker. You know, you really don't give me enough credit for all this stuff. It's not easy. Chloe. With these encryptions, it's going to take me hours to get into Lex's account. Chloe, there's a hidden door in the wall. Even with the stuff he knows, you still got it. What's wrong? It's not 100%. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like your batteries are running seriously low. What about a sneeze? What about it? Clark, if your sneeze could blow a barn door seven miles across Smallville, I bet you anything you could take that one out no problem. Chloe, I just can't force it. Why not? You can do anything. Except sneeze on command. It's a reflex, not a circus trick. Then blow. It's not funny. I'm not kidding. Clark, with a sneeze like yours, that says a lot about your lung capacity. Now just take a really deep breath and blow it out as hard as you can. Straight from outer space. <laughs> Thanks, but I'll keep looking. It's my eyes. I can't see. I can hear right now. What? Full report from you on Clark Kent, Miss Sullivan, by week. Ah! 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 What happened? Ah. Pete, there's something wrong. You have to get me home right away. These sounds, they, they just hit you all at once. It's like someone turned on a giant stereo full blast. Suddenly all the sounds are magnified. There's a the couch. And then they just went away. It was completely random. Well, with your X-ray abilities and your heat vision, we're not really sure how your sensors are supposed to develop. It might just have been a one-time thing, or, or maybe your body's trying to compensate for its lack of sight. I just hope it goes away. All the sounds, they were so loud. I didn't even know where they were coming from or what they were. I don't know. How'd you get out here, anyhow? I walked. Turns out I do know every inch of this farm. <laughs> I really didn't mean to scare them, but... I couldn't take all the noise. So you're mega hearing things back. Suddenly I'm the ultimate eavesdropper. Did someone follow you? No. Why? Fuck. Ross! Get in the truck! Pete, what's going on?
Peace. Sick. Get in the truck. Pete, who is that? Oh. Pete, what's going on? Talk to me. Clark, you mind telling us what's going on in here? I'm trying to focus my hearing. I take it you're not having much luck. If I don't get a handle on this, I can't save peace. All right, let's get to work then. Listen for your father's voice. By him, you mean me, barely. Not you, the blur. Oh, he was long gone by the time I got here. I was just trying to call you. From a payphone? Apparently. How'd you get here so fast anyway? My guy at Met PD didn't wake us until a few minutes ago. It all can't be as fast when you're late as Lois Lane. <laughs> Sidekick to nobody. Lois. Computer's frozen again. It doesn't help that stupid intern Jeff took the last stupid maple donut from the stupid donut box. Here you go. My eyes are bigger than my stomach this morning. No. Okay, I love you. Well, the uh, blood sugar might help you from punching someone. True. I mean, I... Uh, why ever, whoever did what he did, he couldn't have picked a less interesting place to have done it. Run-of-the-mill textile factory? Run-of-the-mill textile factory, which is a subsidiary of Queen Industries. You think it'd be enough to get Oliver's attention? That only matters if Ollie said we're enough to give a crap. He might be right. What'd you say? What? What? The question is, how do we know that this isn't just your super hearing on the fritz? As loud as Lois is, even she can't speak with her mouth closed. Good point. Okay, well, I'll see what I can dig up. But seriously, Clark, unless your warranty's expired, why don't you just check in with your old dad? You okay? Yeah, I'd just like to bypass Lois's inside voice from here on out. I'm fine. I'll keep you posted. I can't miss this meeting. I'm going to find it. This isn't the life that I wanted. You're out. Reading people's thoughts. You said my trials had begun. Is this one of them? I planted within you the seed for this trial. Designed to self-manifest when most needed. An event must have happened to trigger it. Some kind of error, mistaken judgment. I don't understand. I saved everyone in that factory. Assumptions are flaws inherent in the human instincts you have adopted, but they are beneath you. What you have yet to nurture is your Kryptonian intuition. 
You shouldn't underestimate humans. Neither should you. Being able to discern why humans truly behave as they do will help you to better protect them. You are ready. Seize your destiny. The journey has come to an end, Kalel. I shouldn't have tried to push away my Kryptonian side. My strength is accepting it. Accepting you. You honor me. A father's pride cannot be measured in words. But know that I am proud of you, son. You have no idea how long I've waited to hear you say that. We have been down a long road together, Kalel. One paved with difficult trials. Those trials are behind you now. Any father can only hope that he is one day humbled by the feats of his son. But it is your soul, Colonel, of which I am most proud. You and you alone possess the courage, the determination, and the compassion that will be required of you to lift the darkness from the earth. I ask you to remember one thing. Your abilities may be of my blood, but it is your time in Smallville with Jonathan and Martha Kent and all the people there that made you a hero, Colin. Always hold on to Smallville. 